Hi, this is Dan with the City of Rochester Public Works Department. Today we're going to learn how salt brine is made. The process begins by dumping bulk salt into the yellow hopper. Here we are taking a look inside of the salt hopper. Salt is dumped in by a front end loader and here it's mixed with water. Here we are taking an inside look at the salt brine room. We have three tanks that each hold 5,000 gallons of salt brine. And this is the control panel at the heart of the system. This shows the sequence in which the salt brine is being made. see the yellow tank outside that we took a look at earlier where the salt and water are being combined. Here you can see the desired concentration again that 23.3 percent we had talked about. So right now what the system is doing is it's circulating water through the salt in the hopper until it picks up the 23.3% concentration of salt. Here's a look at the back side of the tanks. You can see there's a lot of piping to get the salt brine into each of the tanks. To fill up trucks, they pull up to the fill station here, and this is where the salt brine is actually pumped into the trucks through a hose. All of our plow trucks have a tank like this where the salt brine is stored. And if you come around back, this is where the material actually comes out of the truck. And at this point, there's some nozzles where the salt brine is sprayed onto the salt material. The main reason for pre-wetting salt is because it activates it quicker and gets it melting the snow faster. It also helps the salt to stick to the road and not scatter off. Another way that salt brine is used is anti-icing or pre-wetting. Here is one of our pre-wetting trucks. These trucks hold about 1,900 gallons of salt brine and it's put out on the road via these nozzles. The purpose of pre-wetting streets is to help break the bond of the snow or ice from the pavement. This makes plowing it off much easier 